The ruler of the world approaches. He has no power over me, but I will do what the fire requires. Father requires of me so that the world will know that I love the Father. Come, let's be going. See, God, guys, Jesus speaks. Someone had made a comment the other day about, um, oh, well, if, if he was coming on the 22nd, why wouldn't he tell everybody? Well, you just read it in scripture. It was the verse of the day of why he doesn't tell everybody. Because you have to truly be seeking him. You have to ask Jesus if he's coming that day. You have to ask him for a dream. You have to pour your your heart out to Jesus and tell him you want to know the truth. You want to know whether or not there is deception going on here or if this is accurate, that you're relying on him to let you know. And I promise you, if you give your heart to Jesus and you ask him yourself and there's no motives to asking and you're just asking him because you come with blind childlike faith, he is going to reveal it to you. He is revealing it to other Christians. He's giving Christians dreams. He's giving Christians visions. Guys, Jesus showed up in front of me twice yesterday when I was praying. He was in all white standing in front of me and that was the most beautiful thing that I have ever seen. And I'm telling you, I believe 100% in my heart that the Lord is coming on Monday, May 22nd, 1853, Israel time. And the reason why I say 1853, he didn't speak that to me, but they found that in the sign of the heavens. There's one thing that I did say in a video. It was 1838. Now, guess what 1838 is? That was the sickle. Guess what Jesus has in his hands? He has the sickle in his hands at his coming. So guys, that's not a coincidence. All the signs in the heavens are not a coincidence. The fact that I didn't even know Noah had a seven day warning is not a coincidence. I'm trying to tell you this because God is using me to wake up his children, okay? I have no other motives. People ask me if I monetize. I do not. People, I mean, let me just tell you, I'm a realtor, okay? The first job, my realtor company let me go because of the messages. My church let me go because of the messages. God found me a new realtor company. And guess what? Right before I got the date, guess what home I got under contract? 223 Celebration Avenue. Okay, guys? These cannot all be coincidences. It is childlike faith and you have to believe. And like I said, I believe 100% and there is no trickery or deceit coming from me. Now, I will admit, okay, and I'm, I'm going to say this now. Listen, I take God's prophecy very, very seriously. If Jesus did not show up in front of my house <laughs> and, and everything else that he's confirmed, okay, if it turns out that what he said is not doesn't come to pass, then I'm not going to believe it's Jesus anymore because, guys, I know it's Jesus, okay? He gave the seven-day warning. And the time, <laughs> not sure about the time yet, but, you know, the Lord is shaking me right now, so... <sighs> My child tell them I am coming. My child, I am praying. I am praying I've been past the scroll. I'm trying to wake you up. My father told me to come and get you. I am coming. You need to wake up and realize that I am coming. My words are true and my words will come to pass. Everything that I have told my chosen prophets, my anointed ones, they do not speak their words. They speak mine. I speak through them. You guys mock them and you scoff them and you come after my anointed ones. 
<laughs> I have the sword coming for you, the ones who will not lay down their lives, the ones who will not believe in me and trust in me. I do not want any of this for my children. I love my children. I feel God's spirit. I feel his spirit and the love that he has for his kids. <laughs> it's not a deception, guys. <laughs> it's not a deception. <laughs> I'm not an actor. speak on a date if I didn't believe it. If I didn't believe it, guys, I can't explain anything that's happened. This, this started happening December 22nd. I'm sorry, December 30th, 2022. 2022. Do you get it? There's a reason he started it on December 30th. And we call him Shabriana. First Corinthians one three John one eleven Ezekiel two four Malachi one five First Peter two eight. Genesis fourteen nine. Job thirty one three. I'm coming, my child. I am coming. Wake them up, my child. Wake them up. There is no more time. There is no more time. I'm coming. I told you. <laughs> in the end times that the secrets of Daniel that I had him put away until the end would be opened I told you I would be past the scroll <laughs> do you know who I am? If you have seen me, you have seen the Father. No one can come to me. Unless they are born again with the Spirit and water. I am your living water. I am the truth, the way, and the life. I came to the world as a man in the flesh, and I died on the cross for you. I shed my blood on the cross for you so that you may be saved. My father did not send me to condemn the world, but to save it. But you are wicked in your hearts and you are deceived and you are letting Satan deceive you. 
You practice witchcraft and you practice sorcery and you bow down to other gods. But I 